guys, so now it's time to build the mini bike that's gonna match the CJ. We got the C10 mini bike over there, that was super successful. So basically this thing's gonna be the same anvil paint color, which we really like, it's a factory JK color. You should definitely watch the restoration of this thing, it's kind of one of the first videos we did and kind of what got us into YouTube. Um, Cause the plan is, if we have a little hitch with like a little ramp where we can park the mini bike, that'd be pretty cool to bring like off-roading and stuff. And then we have a little like recovery or like trail looking vehicle. Um, this one's gonna get a little bit more custom work than the C10 bike. We're gonna probably redesign this entire seat area just because I kind of like this seat a little bit better. I'm gonna get a stage two engine build with a mod two cam, billet rod, billet flywheel, all the works. All right, Predator. so there goes the engine. We're gonna, uh, that thing's gonna go get built. And then now that um, the bike's mostly mocked up, uh, I think we're gonna do all the metal work on this. Like there, right at this weld, right at this weld, and then right behind this one. Mm -hmm. And we'll just redo this entire two pieces. Fabrication. That's how you do it. Dang, I think we should just leave it like this. Yeah, full, sit on that. Full chopper. Oh god. Style. <laughs> so Yeah, so this frame kind of looks more like a bobber with the seat kind of lower and farther back. It's gonna be pretty cool. Especially with these bigger tires and stuff. Comfy off-road. Yeah, yeah. Riding in style. In style. So I cleaned up all the old remnants and the old metalwork welds, so it's all smooth. Yeah, so this is basically notched. This is actually some scrap metal we had. We have we bent all the bends the same on the kiddie pool go-kart, so we just used like two identical bends. And they actually are gonna work really nice. We really, really want to get the seat as low as possible. Like, we finished up all the framework for this and it looks really good. Like, we gusted all of this, we put this bar in, it looks actually pretty stock. We were able to use like a piece of uh, eighth inch steel to keep the gap under here consistent throughout. So that's pretty awesome. So our goal is, is to be able to have the seat fit right underneath our gas tank like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut some of this flat stock right under here and mount it up with our bolt holes and it'll be good. And then the front will make a factory clip so the seat can clip in like this. Just kind of slide it and click. Literally just used a piece of um, like thick steel here. Cause I mean, you can see like the hole in this is pretty much perfect size for it. So Joey, I'll slap it in. So it kind of just fits right in there. <laughs> if you align it right. Slots right in. Yep, so you can see it kind of slots right into there. And then it has two bolt holes on the back, so I like for moving forward and backwards. And it looks really good. I really like the riding stance on it. So, Spoons. yeah. Now we just need to do the part where it's cleaning up all the metal and stuff because we're going to repaint this frame black like it was originally, but it's going to be a little bit shinier. It'll look a lot nicer and it'll be worth it to do. So, let's get started with I mean, assemblies. This assembly is pretty easy because a lot of stuff's not bolted in. These two come off. Fenders come off, wheels come off. We're just gonna start cleaning up this frame. Got a couple little brackets that we cut off. This has gotta go. And we're just gonna grind some bumps down and then paint time. All right guys, here is the bike. All stripped down, metal work looks really good. So yeah, we got front forks now too. We're gonna paint the tires, it'd be pretty cool. We're gonna do black with a red gloss rim around the outside, so it's a little different, not gold. So, it's pretty sweet. So now we're gonna sand this thing up, hang it in the backyard, and then spray some black.
Kind of ran out of daylight, but that's going to stop us. So, she's getting her final coat of paint. All right, bud, your turn. You got to help out. Is that very interesting, Joe? I guess I'm doing this by myself. Yeah, unfortunately. So selfish. The nerve of that dog. Okay, so we got it all masked off, and now we're just gonna spray the gloss black on it. Okay, so we just got the red painted up, and we just got one more room to go. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it really does. So, I mean, the CJ's rooms aren't like this, but it's gonna really like, the. it, it looks like the gen, red general grabber on the tires, so that's a nice cool touch. Yeah. All right guys, so we're now gonna begin our non-Hemi engine build for the Anvil CJ mini bike. Um, I mean, basically as simple as it gets, which is gonna be a stage two build. Jason, what's going on in this thing? So first off, we have a 24 millimeter Makuni, uh, properly jetted and everything for this engine. Then we got valve springs, 18 pound valve springs, and then super cool uh, clear valve cover. Yeah, buddy. And we have Mod 2 cam, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mod 2 cam. Oh, here's the uh, billet rod. And then we got the billet flywheel. And it's basically all you need. Yeah, so. Pretty simple. Basically, it's just as easy as taking it apart. The hardest part is probably going to be the rod install, just because you have to torque everything to spec and all that. Easy as that. So pretty much everything is off of this thing. Uh, it's a lot easier to take the carb and gas tank out together. This oil has been not changed since our ownership of it. So let's see the damage. not shiny or anything, it's just kind of dark. Back. <laughs> I mean, this thing still has a governor in it, so I doubt there's that much, you know, bearing shredding going on. This bad boy is out. I just got the bolts free. I think we're not reusing that. So I got the bolts free. This thing looks pretty clean in here. So. There we go. Yeah, looks pretty good. So I guess now all we need to do is we need to take an impact, zap this off, uh, hammer off this uh, flywheel, take the take the uh, crankshaft out, and now we're gonna get to the governor, and then it's rebuild time. Okay, so there it goes. Easy as that. Let's put the keyway back in before I forget, but everything on this looks pretty dang good. So now we're gonna take the governor out, which is just right in there, and then time to put the cool, cool parts in. But now we're at the point where I got I got the ARC bullet rod on the piston, and now we are putting on the flywheel. So, a pretty easy install. All right, so we got the rod torqued to 150 foot-pounds with 120 increment. So now we got our Mod 2 cam here, and it's pretty much just a drop-in. Let's actually align the dot first. So yeah, it's pretty much as easy as just lining up the two dots, and then it's installed for good. Sweet, so there we go. All right guys, so I have the valve lash set to four thousandths on each one. So that's pretty good, got spark plug in. Uh, these are torqued down to, I forget how many foot pounds. But yeah, so it seems like we're doing all right on compression and all that, it's a pretty good engine. So I think we're gonna throw on the Makuni now and the clear valve cover and the exhaust, and then it's pretty much good to go. Thing looks awesome. We just need a gas tank on here too, but like pretty much all done. Engine is totally built, full oil, and it's ready to go on this thing. We just made like a little engine run plate so we don't have to worry about it. 
So we'll put two nuts on there, then we can like stand on it while it runs so it's not rotating all over the place. Uh, fill it with gas, and then we're good to go. Okay, so we turn the idle screw in like a ton, and then we'll just back it off after it starts running. So let's see. She's a runner, boys. Yeah. So far, so good. Guys, so fast forward about six months later, and this is how the bike sits. Uh, it looks really good. We actually had a different plan of how we we're gonna post these videos, but because we kind of this this was always like a side project, and we had other stuff going on, so we kind of filmed everything in pieces. Like we filmed the metalwork in a piece, we filmed the paint in a piece, and we filmed the engine build like two months later after all that stuff. So everything was just kind of a mess and I was going over the footage and I realized the best way to do this was just to put the whole build into like two parts. So in this part, we're gonna have the engine build and the frame and here it is all together. We got Go Power Sports Premium Torque Converter on here and some 40 chain. I'll get some cool shots of all of that stuff. But really, it's all done. Um, didn't really miss much other than running a throttle and brakes and all the basic stuff. I mean, all you re all there really is to this is the engine chain and throttle. So didn't miss much there, but the bike looks really good with the red tires and all that, or the red um, the red line on the rims and all that. So super proud there. Um, so what's next in this build is actually at the paint swap meet, I bought a gas tank from, from an old Honda motorcycle or something. So we're gonna actually have a real gas tank on this, which is one of my critiques of the Baja bikes, like they didn't have fake gas tanks, I'm not a huge fan. So we're gonna put a real one on there. And then we're also gonna be working with the company Monster Liner. They, they sell like really cool tintable truck bed liner. So we're gonna do this whole bike, or the fenders and the gas tanks and the truck bed liner. So it's gonna look really sick, really sleek, and it's gonna be basically indestructible. So look forward to that. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, sorry, I was kind of all over the place, but I really like the direction this bike's going. And it'll be kind of cool to get a whole build out in just a couple episodes. So stay tuned, probably next week, we're gonna post the second part of this where we paint up the fenders, and then we'll have to take it out with a CJ and go off-roading. So those of you Jeep guys out there, stay tuned for that. So thank you, Go Power Sports. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.